Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to share with you guys 10 quick tips that you might not know that will dramatically improve your workflow and editing skills. So these are 10 tips that I actually use in my own workflow and I've got a project here that I already edited. This was my Nike shoe dog review. You guys can check it out on my channel if you want. But let me take you through some of these shortcuts and things that I always use when I'm editing projects. So first of all, let's talk about copying and pasting clips and things like that. So you can see in this case, I had this audio track that was only like three minutes long, but the clip was eight minutes long, and I wanted this to be background music throughout the whole clip. So rather than just right click and copying and pasting it, a quick shortcut to duplicate a clip is just hold option on your keyboard or alt and click and drag the clip out. Now you have a copy and you can do that as many times as you want. It's a simple way to copy things. The second tip that I have for you is sometimes you paste the clip and it, for some reason it pastes over things and it's not pasting on the right track that you want. So let's say I had this clip copied, movie 2121, and I wanted to paste it on top of everything on track 4 here so I could do some kind of cool transition or different effect that I'm working with. Now when I press command V and paste it, it kind of might seem like it's just pasting wherever it wants and oftentimes it's fine that it pastes over certain clips and starts deleting stuff. But the trick to pasting exactly on the track that you want is to head over here to the tracks and you can click here to highlight or unhighlight the tracks. So when I have everything unhighlighted except V4 and I paste it, now you can see it pastes exactly where I wanted to on V4. So still related to copying and pasting, the third tip that I have for you is when you're working with a ton of different audio tracks and you make all your necessary adjustments on the one audio track, so I added my noise reduction and all the filters that I wanted, and then you want to copy that onto the remaining dozens of tracks and all the different cuts, it can be a bit difficult if you're going to right click and select all the, the clips and then copy them and then go to each individual track and you'll find that paste attributes is often grayed out for some reason and that leaves you to only be able to paste things individually like this. Now you can tell something doesn't have any any attributes onto it when the FX square is yellow. Now a quick way and it's pretty common sense you think that you want to try this but for some reason it took me a long time to figure this out. You just highlight all the clips and after we just copied all those effects, if we just press Command V, you'll see that all these clips turn green and we've pasted the effect on here. Now do be careful because if you paste things twice, things can start stacking. So make sure everything's clear and then paste everything how you want. That also saves you a lot of time if you go back and you say, you know, I actually wanted to reduce the noise by 12 decibels instead of 8. Then you can just copy and paste everything over again instead of having to adjust each single layer. Now when you're talking about working with video tracks, it's a bit easier to adjust multiple layers at once, and that's by working with adjustment layers. This allows you to place the effects onto an adjustment layer and place that over the clips to influence everything underneath. So the fourth tip is work with adjustment layers, and how to create those is you simply make sure you have your project been highlighted and then go to File, New, adjustment layer. Another quick tip while you're in the file new menu is if you ever want to make a blank color mat or a blank color screen for you to use is go to file new color mat and this is going to allow you to pick a color that way let's say you wanted to lay text or something over a white backdrop press OK and now you have your color mat for you to use. It's another useful trick. So tip number six and it's still relating to editing multiple clips at once is let's say you had a certain sequence of your project that kind of related to each other and you wanted to apply a certain effect to all together but there's lots of cuts. If you actually highlight those multiple clips at once you can right click and nest them into a sequence. So press OK and now you have a nested sequence which acts as one solid clip. So you can add effects onto this one solid clip, you can adjust the overall scale. So let's say you wanted this little portion of clips to be inset because you're going to add a little text title there and you didn't want to do it to each separate clip, you could nest them into a sequence and then do it that way. Then if you double click on the nested sequence, you can actually see all the individual clips and do things that way as well. 
So there's a ton of different situations where that would come in handy. Now the next tip I have is related to titles. So let's say I was adding a title to this nested sequence and I go to file, new, title. If I click and type out and edit things exactly how I wanted and place the text exactly where I wanted and then I just wanted to adjust a small portion of it each time, rather than making a whole new title, all you have to do is simply go to title, new title, and do one based on the current title. This is going to create a new one in your project media bin and then you could just double click on it and edit one small portion of it like maybe one letter or one number off. So the new title from current title is a good way to get all your titles out in the same style and font and everything that after you lay out your first one. Now when it comes to adding effects onto your clips sometimes there's a ton of different folders for you to go through and it's hard to find exactly what you want if you're not used to it. But if you didn't know, there's this search bar up here, and if you're looking for a certain effect, like crop, you can literally just type it in, and it'll pop up right where it is. So there's crop, and you can click and drag it onto your clips. Now those are kind of like shortcuts and menu panels and little hidden gems, but some really functional and basic shortcuts and tips that you should know, and the last four tips here are all about the scrubber and timeline shortcuts. So whenever you're editing a project, you're gonna be playing things back over and over and over, and you're gonna be playing through large portions of the clip to make sure that you didn't make any mistakes. Now, in order to speed this up and save you a lot of time in your life, if you press L on the keyboard, it'll speed up the playback by two times. If you hold Shift and press L, it'll speed it up by fractions of that. And then if you press K, it'll go backwards until you can actually reverse and rewind. But just use the space bar in L and you can scrub through your project twice as fast and make sure you're not making any speaking errors or see that you didn't miss anything that you need to cut out. Big major tip there. Also, when you're scrubbing through your timeline, if you just use the arrow keys on your keyboard up and down, it'll navigate through the ends and cuts of each clip exactly. So if you're trying to find the very end of a clip without using your mouse to click until it sticks, then you can use the arrow keys. Now remember, just like we said earlier, when you're highlighting the different tracks, this pays attention to the tracks that you're highlighting and it'll only navigate on those tracks. So don't miss highlighting any music tracks to find the true end of your clip. Now another very useful shortcut in the timeline workflow here is the V and the C keys. These are going to be your main tools when you're chopping and editing clips and projects. C activates your chop tool and V activates your move tool. You're going to be alternating between these and it's just going to save you so much time if you do it on the keyboard rather than selecting the tools from the toolbar each time. So those are 10 Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial tips and tricks and shortcuts and little hidden gems for your workflow. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Which ones did you learn? Which ones are new to you? And if you want to see more Premiere Pro tutorials, more in depth on specific topics, check out the Premiere Pro playlist on my channel. Definitely subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for all types of new creative videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho. And after you did all that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.